Hello guys, I am Ella Bain. In today's teaching, we'll be learning how to make an Amada Danshiki dress. Please watch to the end of this video. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started right now. So, this is the fabric I'm going to use for this tutorial. Um, and I have folded them into two. This is for the front and this is for the back. So there are now four layers here now. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and I have marked my shoulder line and also the full length of the gown. And I have added one and a half inch for the folding allowance. Okay, so let's get started. So from this shoulder line, I will I will mark the neck width. I'm making this this um, dress for myself okay so I'm going to go with the neck width of three and a half three and a half and I'll mark okay so from here remember this 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 is a an albada dashiki dress okay so is a the sleeve will be cut together with the bodies okay the sleeve and the bodies will be cut together so it's not a different uh, cutting so so from here now go with the length of 17 inches i'll mark my 17 inches here but if you are making it for a for a somebody you know for um somebody that is not too fat or too big you can go with 15 inches okay and the the neck depth of two and a half or two inches okay this type of dress depends it it, it it differs you know body structure also differs so when you're making this dress for a client you first of all check the body structure so that after stitching and sewing everything it will come out nice okay so i'll go with with 17 inches and i'll mark here okay so so and from here now i'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope and i'll connect it from this area from here to here okay then from here now i'll take the sleeve length from here i'll take the sleeve i'll come down i'll go with 10 or 11 inches which is here so that is my sleeve length okay which is here so from here now i'll come in by three inches or four inches it depends your preference i'll come in by three inches here okay here and from here now i'll also Come down by two inches for the curve okay hope you are getting what i'm doing so on the neck region the neck region i'll now take the the, the neck depth so the front neck depth i'll go by three inches three and a half inches sorry three and a half inches i mark so for the back i'll go with one and a half inch and i'll connect it the back first then i'll now connect the front if you have a curve ruler you can use it to give you a nice curve okay so this is for the back and this is for the front so now i'll now take the vertical measurement of the of my hip just three and half the hip you know this is a free gown i'm not supposed to put the hip hip here but you understand as we go okay so here now remember from here to here is 17 inches okay so i have to i will minus two inches from this 17 inches okay and i will mark it on the hip line if you minus seven two if you minus two from 17 it will give you 15 inches which is here now mark it here 
okay that's the reason why i marked this head so coming down to the to the hemline you will minus two or one and a half inches from the 15 so if you minus two inches from 15 it will give you 13 so or one and a half it will give you 13 and a half so i'll go with 13 and a half because when you when, when you come to this place to give something like a curvy look it's not a straight something okay so what i'll do now i will just connect from here to here from this area now to this point then from here to this area hope you are getting what i am doing so yeah this because it will give you something curvy here hope you are exactly you know what i'm doing here to give you something curvy here hope you see what i am doing here okay so that's so on the on this hip line you can all you can as well use the same measurement this 17 i got i can as well use it here okay if you want it to be that bogus but i don't want that bogus shape that's why i minus two inches from it okay and the same thing i minus one and a half inch from here okay so next thing we are going to do now is to cut first of all i will cut the the back neck the shoulder slope So now I'll now cut the neck, the front neck, and that is it. So I'll open it now for you to see. I'll open the front for you to see how it looks. Okay, this is the front. I open the front. Can we see how nice it came out to be? This is the front. Okay. So next thing now is to cut the facing. Okay, so to, to cut the facing now, you fold the fabric into two like this. I'll cut the back facing first before the front. So you place it this way. Okay, then from this area now, from this joint now, you go by three inches or four inches, depends. Okay, okay, let me go by four inches. I'll mark four, four all the way, four, okay, and here also mark four, okay, so, you do the marking on, on the, on the, on the, on the fabric we are using for the facing, okay, so you mark four here, and you mark four here, so, then you press it this will be easy for you okay okay so you press it this to then you bring it out then from here now you now mark your four all through this is the easiest way okay then you press it you press it that is it for the back now i've got So, and you open it like so like so this is how your facing will be can you see that so this is it okay so i will now call the front facing so now for the front facing you take your fabric again fold it into two like so and you place under the under it like this and i forgot to tell you in case you want the 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 front neck to have an opening 
to have an opening at the center the center so you can as well put the opening so let me do it for you remember i i took three and a half inch for the depth so i will also come down again uh -huh. i'll also come down again by by four which will make it seven and half exactly so so from here now i can open it okay so right at this region you go in by half inch half inch then we press it to this point to this point hope you get what i did here so now to for the first thing we also go by three inches remember three inch on four sorry four inches four inches okay four inches okay so here four inches so for this list for this list remember the facing will not end at this four and a half where this list will end you have to give some extra allowances to it which means from this place we are the four and four and a half inches end that's the place where the slit ends from there you come down by three inches or four inches depends okay let me make it four the reason why we are, we are do, i'm doing this is to make so that the facing will not be coming out from the from the fabric when you wear it okay so that's why i'm doing this so so now i mark four here remember and four here remember so so from here now from this four four okay let me trace the neck so that it will be easy for us okay so we press the neck press the neck like so press like so, so that it will be easy for rust so from here now i'll also go by four inches okay so what you need to do now is to connect them to these joints hope you see what i did here you cut So for the slits, you have to cut the facing and the clothes together for the slit so that you won't make mistake cutting them differently. Okay. So now how we got this? Just need to open. Yeah. I think I'm okay with this. So let me fix it together for you to see it so now i will see that wow very nice so you put your face in this way this way good good can you see that so you now stitch you can put it inside or outside it depends on your preference so you stitch from here to here from here to here and here and here then you can tack this whole place okay same thing with the back so guys if my tutorial has been helpful to you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up invite your friends to my channel okay and for my subscribers oh my gosh i love you guys you are so wonderful and awesome you people keep keep me going i love you all okay see you in our next tutorial bye